So Sneakers Day is an annual event that Nike do to celebrate the Sneakers app. And in 2022, it celebrated the 50th anniversary of the app. And compared to last year's Sneakers Day, this year, I actually caught some stuff. I'm looking forward to unboxing it. So let's get to it. Hey, what's going on? Looks it back with another video. And today I'm unboxing what I copped from Sneakers Day 2022. Thanks for checking out this video. If you're new to the channel and you like all kinds of content related to sneaker culture, please do subscribe and also hit that notification bell to be notified when I do drop new videos. And if you did like today's video, please give it a thumbs up as it really helps the channel grow. Now today I'm checking out what I managed to cop from Sneakers Day 2022, which is a mixture of sneakers and clothing. So Sneakers Day 2022 took place on August the 8th, which was a Monday. And for me was kind of a difficult day because obviously it was a work day. So I had to kind of flip between obviously watching Sneakers Day and also obviously doing my day job. And for the most part, I wasn't really paying attention to a lot of the lives. The one complaint that a lot of people have Sneakers Day is it's just basically a lot of live conversation, chat, and you know, it's not really about drops. Leading up to Sneakers Day, it was pretty much guaranteed that there would be four drops happening. Kind of knew that based on the teasers that Nike put on Sneakers app. We knew there'd be a drop in the morning, the actual Air Force One that was releasing, we also need to be the Canyon Purple and a shock drop of the um, Air Jordan 1 Yellow Taxis. But at the same time, we didn't know how this was going to release. So Sneakers Day started around 8am and it was pretty dry. And then there was a rumour that there was going to be a shock drop of the Air Jordan 4 Canyon Purples. And for me, I'm still on the fence about this sneaker because it is a women's release. But it's also been released in extended sizing. And what transpired is it was actually a scratch release. So... What that meant is you had a specific image and you had to basically scratch off the sneaker to reveal the sneaker and then obviously have a chance to purchase. Now, I did look at purchasing, but I couldn't see a sneaker in my size. Now, for a, in the women's size, I'm a 15.5, and that's a pretty hard size to cut. So I kind of passed. The second part of Sneakers Day was when they did the actual reveal of the Air, Air Force One. And this was the one that I was kind of most keen on because... Unlike last year, which was the Air Harachi and a Women's Jordan, the Air Force One actually looked nice and the colour blocking looked nice. And I figured, you know what, this is one I need to get in hand. This drops around 12.45 UK time. And I actually did try to copy my size, but surprisingly, my size, size 13, did sell out. And I thought, you know what, I'm not copying. But then there was a restock um, a couple of, about 45 minutes later, and I did get my size. So obviously, happy to have that. Uh, and then we moved on again to the release of the Air Max Tour Yellow around 3 p.m. I believe. And again, this was a women's release, so I passed on that. Uh, around 5 p.m. I believe, there was the release of the Canyon Purple as the actual release. And again, I passed on that. Then we come to around 8 p.m. and they do the last kind of wrap up of the day. And what we find is, you know, they do a talk about the Air Jordan 1, obviously the Air Jordan 1 Taxi. Next thing you know, they do a shock drop of that. I again went for this, but in my size it sold out, but I did manage to cop a slightly bigger size. Cause I'm gonna see it in hand, obviously, see if it's something that I might consider paying resale for. So that's how Sneakers Day was for me. So let's get to the unboxings. So we firstly have two bits of clothing. Uh, so, this. This is the t-shirt. And I got this in a 2XL actually. Wow, I didn't believe I got 2XL. I swear I thought I swear I got an XL. But anyway, 2XL. So we'll see how this fits. Well, it's oversized, but it's definitely gonna fit. So here you have this is kind of a how do we describe the colour on this? I don't know, see we have a brown t-shirt. These also came in cream, I believe. And the apparel for this year I felt was a lot better, a lot cleaner. And obviously to celebrate the fifth year anniversary you've got the V embroidered, and obviously you've got Nike swoosh right here. Again, that feels quite quite a nice quality. And then on the back, you've just got the swoosh, S, you know, sneakers, and then obviously the date eight eight twenty two. As you can see in the try ons, you know, it's definitely a baggy fit. You know, I could have gone for an XL, but again, it sold out, so I had to cut what I could. And you know, I do like this. I like the color, and I think it's going to be a nice addition to the to the wardrobe. So let's check out the next piece. Pull this. So this is the 
crew neck jumper. And I got this, actually got this in XL. Okay, I like this. So again, it's a mixture of cream and then you got kind of that brown trim that you have on the t-shirt. So I think it's quite subtle, the, the detail. And again, you've got that on the, the cuff as well, as you can see right there. The same detailing as you get on the t-shirt. So again, you've got the V and then obviously Nike swoosh. And then on the back, again, you've got the swoosh, the sneakers, and then 8 8 2022. So yeah, I think this is fire. Uh, as you can see in the try-ons, you know, it fits. It's a tighter, slightly tighter fit, but again, I usually wear like XLs and, uh, and that fits fine. So for instance, I'm six foot six and about 230 pounds. So you kind of get an idea of how that fits. Yeah, it's not too long. So I think that's definitely also good as well. One thing to say is a lot of the clothing did sell out. So it is only available on the secondary market. And to be fair, there's not a huge market for that. Because obviously it's specific for Sneakers Day 2022. Uh, so that's why I kind of picked up the clothing. I wanted something just to remember that day by. Because obviously, you know, I've been clear to sneakers for many, many years now. I have a love-hate relationship with the sneakers app, but I think sneakers day for me was definitely a lot better than it could have been. So that's the clothing. Let's check out the sneakers. So. I've seen pictures of this, but I've never actually seen this in person, so I'm excited to see this. Alright. So this is the Air Force One for the Sneakers Day 2022. So you get special packaging. Uh, so you get a V in white on the bot on the top, which again I think is pretty cool. And then on the side you've got Nike swoosh right here in white, and you've got sneakers right in here, and then 8822 right there. And again that V on this side. And then on the other side you have 8817 and 8822. So again, that's shown that five years for the sneaker because sneakers at first released in the UK and the EU in August the 8th, 2017. So we'll pop the lid. And again, inside you just get 8817 and 8822, again, five years. Some slightly different tissue paper. It's quite fire. We pull this back. Ooh, here we have the sneaker. So this is the Nike Air Force One Sneakers Day 2022. This is nice. I like this. Okay, so we've got some nice materials. I know a lot of people hate on the Air Force One, but as you can see in my collection, I've got quite a few. And this one for me was definitely a, a must-cut. I'm really happy I did manage to grab this. I will plan to do a full review and uh, on feet for this. So subscribe to the channel and check out that video when it drops. The last sneaker. This one I'm annoyed about. This one I'm really pissed about because I didn't get it in my size, true size. But again, I want to see it in person. So when I show the box, you'll know what it is. Of course, it's the Air Jordan 1 taxi or yellow toe. So anyway, you have special box. So you have the yellow box with the black Nike and uh, black swoosh. And then again, Nike, Nike, Nike. On the bottom here, you've got 95 Air Jordan 1. So this is kind of a OG styling. The size tag is Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG. The colorway is Taxi Black Sale. And this is actually a UK 14, US 15. So I wouldn't really get my tree size, but I just want to see it in person. So I pop lid. I have to get. Oh, why can't I get to my size? So here you have the Air Jordan 1 Taxi, or also known as Yellow Toe. Boy, I need it. I need it in my collection. Now, I wanted to get this in hand just to kind of see if it was, the color blocking was nice, the detail and the, the materials. Obviously a bit of creasing on the toe, as you can see right there, but yeah, this is gonna have to be cut. So let me know in the comment section if you want me to do a review of this. I know it doesn't drop in the US though at mid to late September, so um, really have to do a review and it obviously I can't do a try on because it's too big. Uh, but again, I want to see it in hand. So most likely I'm going to trade this for a 13, uh, or uh, if I do resell it, I'll just use that money to get my size, but this is a mascot for the collection. So there was an actual full sneakers release on the 13th of August. And again, I took a nail. Um, so this is one that I need to cop and hopefully we'll get this in my size very soon. 
But again, let me in the comment section if you want me to do a review of this, and I'll quite happily make that video. So what do you think of the pickups? Uh, even the Chloe being on the sneakers, let me know in the comment section down below what you think. Always happy for that um, feedback. As I said, I will do a full review of the Air Force One uh, very soon. So thanks for the video. Here's the kind of content you want to see, you know, not just unboxings, but reviews, opinions, etc. Please do subscribe and also hit the notification bell to be notified when I do drop new videos. And if you did like today's video, please give it a thumbs up as it really helps the channel grow. And until next time, take it easy. I'll see you in the next video.